Local families are questioning the work of Jacksonville's task force on safety and crime after the latest killings. The new board was created in response to last year's violence and had its first meeting just last month. Now, Action News Jack's Beth Rousseau is live at Yancey Park. And Beth, you're pushing members for answers about when neighbors will start seeing action. Family members tell me that they have seen enough of this Crime Stoppers sign posted for victims of Jacksonville's violence. Now, task force leaders tell me that they're looking for solutions, but these neighbors say that they have their doubts. This scene of the quadruple shooting that claimed two lives brings back memories for Latasha Hobbs, whose son Maurice was shot and killed. His life is my fight for justice and better change in our city. I met Hobbs in January at the first meeting for Jacksonville's task force on crime and safety. Nearly one month later, she's still expressing similar concerns. At what point is someone going to take action? I went through the board's meeting minutes from February 8th. It shows members asked about statistics, discussed the sharing of research and weren't able to approve minutes from the previous meeting because members didn't read or receive them. How do you expect action to be taken when we can't even get minutes approved at a meeting? Well, it, again, the logistics of a new group of people. Chairman Mark Griffin tells me this is an action-oriented task force, but couldn't tell me when we'll see boots on the ground. The, the thing we have to be careful about is to overreact in, in a way that's really not um, helpful. He says they're looking for long term solutions through committees and subcommittees. To Hobbs, it sounds like more of the same. Conversations not going to save lives. Boots on the ground, community engagement, that's what's going to save lives. The chairman tells me that they're looking to get more members of the youth involved in this task force so that they can protect these local families. Their next meeting is scheduled for March 8th. We're live at Nancy Park, Beth Russo, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jacks.